This video demonstrates how to animate objects in Plant Simulation 3D. We will show you how you can animate your own objects. To get started, open Plant Simulation and create a new 3D model by clicking Create New Model. We open the folder User Objects in the Class Library. It already contains an empty frame, which we can use. We are going to create and animate a complex drilling machine. The sequence of the animation consists of four steps. In the first step, the drilling head has to move down fast and stop a short way above the product. In the second step, the drilling head has to rotate and move slowly down until the hole is drilled all the way. The time for drilling depends on the thickness of the moving object. In the third step, the drilling head moves up again slowly and continues to rotate. In the fourth and final step, the drilling head moves up fast to its default position. We create a new frame and call it My Station. Insert a station, two interfaces, and connect them. Right click the station and select open in new 3D window. We delete the graphic of the station. Now we click the edit ribbon tab. In the group insert shape we select the cuboid. We keep the default dimensions of the cuboid. Click Create to create the graphic and position it at the origin of the frame. Click the right mouse button and select Edit 3D Properties or press Control plus 3. In the dialog which opens, we position the cuboid exactly at the center of the frame, namely at the position 0, 0, 0. We click the tab Material. On this tab, we activate the material and select a color in the drop-down list Diffuse Color. Click OK to close the dialog. Again, we click Cuboid in the group Input Shape to insert a second cube. We enter 0.4 meters as the depth of the cuboid and click Create. We position the cuboid next to the first cuboid. Press Control plus 3 to open the Properties dialog. Set the X position to 0, the Y position to 0.3 meters, and the Z position to 1 meter. Now the second cuboid is located directly on top of the first cuboid. We click the tab Material. Activate the material and select a color in the drop-down list Diffuse Color. Click OK. Next, we are going to add a third cuboid. Set the depth of the cuboid to 1 meter and its height to 0.3 meters. Click Create to create the cuboid and position it close to the other cuboids. Press Control plus 3 to open the Properties dialog. Define the X position and Y position at 0 and the Z position at 2 meters. We click the tab Material, activate the material, and select a color for the diffuse color. Click OK to validate the settings. Next, we are going to import a graphic for our drilling head. Click Import Graphics and select a graphic file 
representing the drilling head. We position the imported graphic close to the cuboids. Press Ctrl plus 3 to open the Properties dialog. We set the X position and the Y position of the drill to 0 and Z position to 2 meters. Because our graphic of the drill is very small, we set the scaling factor to 5. We select the drill, click the right mouse button, and select Make Animatable Object. In the dialog which opens, we enter Drill as the name of the object. You will notice the white helper lines, which define the coordinate system of the moving object. Click OK to close the dialog. Close the 3D window of the station. We insert a method object into our station named MyStation. We press F2 to rename the method to OnEntrance. Double-click the station to open its dialog. Click the tab Controls. Click the ellipsis button and select a method as the entrance control. In this entrance control, we also want to define the processing time of the station. To do so, we have to activate the checkbox Before Actions. Click OK to close the dialog. Now we have to program the entrance control. In the first part of the method, we define four variables and set the processing time. In the variable named D, we store the thickness of the moving object. The time for drilling is calculated by the thickness of the product plus 0.05 meters. The distance between the stop position of the drilling head and the product plus 0.01 meters. The distance we want to drill the deeper than the product to be sure the hole is completely drilled. The time for moving the drilling head is calculated from the default position to 0.05 meters above the height of the product. Both times are added twice because we need the time for moving the drilling head down and for moving it up again. The result is the processing time for the product. If 3D is activated and icon animation is active as well, the 3D commands will be executed. Position 1 is the Z position 0.05 meters above the product. Next, we get all animations of object drill. The first stage of the movement goes from the upper position down to position 1 at a fast speed. The command Start Next Animation Block defines that the following scheduled animation will not be executed in parallel but following the previously scheduled animation. In the second stage, we schedule the drilling action with 180 degrees per second. In parallel, we move the drilling head down to the position 0.01 meters below the product at slow speed. Stage 3 moves the drilling head up to 0.05 meters above the product at slow speed. The drilling head still rotates. At the last stage, the drilling head moves up at fast speed to the default position. Now all movements are scheduled and we can play the scheduled animations. Now we have to create the frame in which to create our simulation model using My Station. Create a new frame, insert a source, My Station, and a drain. Then connect the objects.
Now, we can run the simulation. We see that the products with different heights are created. The drilling head always moves down fast to 0.05 meters above the product and will drill the hole into the product with slow feed. This concludes our video about animatable objects in 3D. Cards. Driven by digitalization.